I'm Mr Jam, DJ and broadcaster here at BBC Radio 1 Extra and BBC Radio 1 and this is my first year as a Mercury Prize judge. You get the phone call and then you have a meeting at which you sign a non-disclosure agreement. And that then means that you you get a uh, completely get out of jail free card because it means that you can't talk about a large number of things, things that people would normally want to ask a judge for something like the Mercury Prize. Come in. What happens is, is that every single album that is eligible um, to be uh, in contention for the Mercury Prize, we get sent a copy of it and we're asked to take a listen to it. And that's over 290 albums. Pretty much any given moment in time that I had, I had my listening list, I had my, my iPod, I had everything ready to roll. You know, everything was fully secured. So even if I had put it down, nobody could have grabbed it and gone, mm, let's have a look, let's see what's in here. And, and I can say that there were albums that were unreleased at the point that we were given to them that were still in, in contention. So this was like a guard it with your life iPod. If people think that a specific genre should get a recognition or they believe that a specific album should also get recognition, then the best way that you could recognize that is to go out and buy it yourself. You know, the, the Mercury Prize is there to recognise what we believe as a panel is a, a great body of music. And I think all of the finalists really show that. I think that if anybody's really upset that such and such wasn't in that list, have you bought the album? Have you got a copy? Have your friends got a copy? Maybe, you know, vote with your, vote with your cash. So uh, the way that the night works, I've been reliably informed, is that first and foremost, we have a meeting. And in that meeting is a lot of heated discussion, or should I say lively discussion about all of the finalists. Uh, then it's sitting down and discussing quite a lot and quite intensely over who we believe as a collective should win that ultimate Mercury Music Prize. And then that continues through until we uh, head into the uh, BBC Radio Theatre and we watch some live performances and we have more discussions and then the prize is given right at the very end of the night. I was actually thinking the other day, I think I know the album that I'd want to see win the prize. And then I heard a track from another one of the albums and went, no, I think this one should win it. And then I heard another track from another album. It, do you know what? It's anybody's game. Have I got my favourites? Yeah, I definitely have. Will my favourite win? Who knows? Depends how persuasive I can be on the night. <laughs>